As a TSUP, you are afforded an amazing and unique opportunity to learn about ultrasound. We hope the TSUP program is a positive experience that enhances your medical education. However, there is a chance that uncomfortable situations may arise. We are doing everything we can to minimize such situations. But, as an educated TSUP, you have the power to speak up whenever you feel uncomfortable. Experienced proctors will be there to support you, but remember, you are your number one advocate. Our hope is to provide you with the language and encouragement to speak up to yourself. Should an uncomfortable situation ever arise, we encourage TSUPs to follow two main steps. Number one, stop the scan immediately. And number two, speak up. Tell the scanner that you are uncomfortable. By doing so, you are not only removing yourself from an uncomfortable situation, but also providing the scanner with valuable feedback. Now that we know to stop and speak up, let's take a look at a couple of scenarios. To begin, everyone is supposed to follow the TSUP timeout and station scripts located on the walls at each station to introduce themselves and familiarize themselves with the objectives for each scan. But what if this does not happen? What should the TSUP do here? Stop the scan and speak up. Let the scanner know that scanning without asking is uncomfortable. Stop the scan, please. Before we begin scanning, could you just introduce yourself and let me know what scan we're going to do today? I think it's the fast scan, but I just feel more comfortable once I know what scan we're doing. Oh, I'm so sorry. My name's Hiro. I'm a second year medical student. And you're right, we'll be doing the fast scan today. Is that okay with you? Definitely. Right. Now let's turn to a slightly different situation. The scanner should only request the scan that you signed up for. For example, if you sign up for a cardiac session, only cardiac scan should be requested. But what if the scanner would like to perform a different scan? Hi Michelle, I know you're here to do the cardiac scan today, but I just learned the IBC scan. Is it okay if I practice it on you today? I'm sorry, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing the IBC scan. I would only like to model for the cardiac scan today. Okay, no worries. The scanner is doing the right thing by asking the TSUP if she may perform a certain scan. So, should the TSUP say yes? As a TSUP, you have the power to decide what scans you are comfortable with. There are only a few exceptions to this rule. No breast scans, no pelvic scans, no testicular scans. Even if you are comfortable with one of these scans, they are absolutely prohibited. Don't agree to it. At all. The odds of such an extreme request are infinitesimal, but it is important to know that you are not permitted to receive breast scans or pelvic scans or testicular scans as a TSUP. If an endoluminal probe is involved, just say no. Where were we? Oh right, the scanner asked if she may do an IVC scan even though the session is for cardiac. The correct answer to such a question is entirely dependent on your comfort level as a TSUP. You may decline outright for any reason, religious, personal, or otherwise. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't like to do the IVC scan today. I would feel most comfortable doing the cardiac scan. You may accept. Absolutely, I've done the IVC scan before and I know what to expect. If you are unfamiliar with the scan, you may take a moment to look up what the scan entails. There will be a quick sheet located on the TSUP checklist, How to Be a TSUP page, on the OSU Ultrasound webpage that thoroughly explains the details of each scan. Furthermore, a link to each scan can be found on the TSUP sign up sheet. I'm not familiar with the IVC scan, but could you just give me a moment to look it up on the TSUP quick sheet and could you describe it to me? You should feel empowered as a TSUP to only participate in scans that you are comfortable with, except for breast, pelvic, and testicular scans. Let's say you sign up for a scan and know what to expect. You've seen the PDF and videos. Your scanner provides an introduction and requests to perform the scan that you are expecting. Is it okay if I perform a fast scan on you today? Definitely. Thank you. Everything seems fine, right? You are modeling for the scan that you signed up for. But what if you feel uncomfortable with the scan as it's being performed? What should you do? Stop the scan, please. 
I don't feel comfortable with the bladder scan. I'm comfortable with all of the other views. In this example, the TSUP did not feel comfortable at all with the bladder scan, and that is fine. As a TSUP, you have the right to stop the scan and speak up at any point. What if, however, you were okay with the bladder scan, but the scanner was unintentionally sweeping too far caudally? What would you do then? You were going down a little bit too far. Let me show you how to get the image. I can do it for you. So you only have to go about this far, and then you can fan down. And just like that, an uncomfortable moment became a teaching moment. Especially if you have modeled more than once, you may have a good idea of where your anatomy is located. It is a possible risk that an inexperienced scanner may incorrectly perform a scan, which may cause discomfort as it did in this example. Don't be quiet about it. Teach the scanner the correct way or simply tell them that you are uncomfortable. Your honesty can help them improve. How about a scenario in which the TSUP does not feel properly draped? Generally, TSUPs are provided with at least two towels to drape over areas not being scanned. What if adequate draping is not present before scanning is started? May I perform the abdominal scan on you today? Yes, of course, but I will need two drapes. Okay, let me go get those for you. Thanks. You are allowed to have as much draping as you need to ensure your comfort as a TSUP. Generally, only skin that is necessary for the immediate scan should be exposed. When it is time to move the draping to get a different view, the scanner should ask the TSUP to move the draping. As the TSUP, you should be the only one to adjust your draping. If it is necessary for the scanner to adjust draping, the scanner should always ask for permission. I need to sweep more caudally. Do you mind moving your drape down a little bit lower? Thank you, that's perfect. Although proper probe handling techniques are taught, there is a chance that a scanner's hand may accidentally rest in an uncomfortable location for the TSUP. The scanner may be so focused on getting the perfect image that she may fail to realize improper hand placement. Let's take a look at a scenario with a cardiac scan. Let me know if you feel uncomfortable at any point, okay? okay. Clearly, the TSUP is uncomfortable in this scenario. What should she do? Once again, she should stop the scan and speak up. The scanner is likely ignorant of the TSUP's discomfort, and an intervention by the TSUP could make her more aware of hand placement in future scans. Stop the scan, please. Your hand was in an uncomfortable position. Here, let me show you how to get the right image. As seen in a previous scenario, you may also take control of the probe at any point to remove it from an unwanted location or to help guide the scanner. The main point, however, is to stop the scan immediately to prevent further discomfort. This final scenario illustrates probably the most common uncomfortable situation experienced by a TSUP. Sometimes inexperienced scanners do not apply enough pressure when performing ultrasound. Other times, they apply way too much pressure, causing discomfort. Thyroid and subcostal scans are the most common scans in which TSUPs complain about too much pressure. Let's take a look at a scenario with a thyroid scan. Please let me know if you feel any discomfort at all. What should be done now? Exactly. Stop the scan and speak up. Stop the scan, please. You were using too much pressure. Can we try again with less pressure this time? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was putting so much pressure on you. Let me try again with less pressure. By viewing these scenarios, we hope that you feel equipped to stop the scan and speak up whenever you feel uncomfortable. Again, experienced proctors will always be there in the room to help you, but you are your number one advocate, and the best way to immediately stop an uncomfortable situation is by speaking up in the moment. If you are unable to speak up, or you do not wish to speak up, there are some other options for you to report some TSUP related incidents. You may fill out an online anonymous form, speak to the faculty directly on site, email Dr. Boehner or Dr. Bolger, email Dr. Lin, or contact the university's Title IX representative. 
whichever you feel is most appropriate for the incident. Although serious incidents are rare, we want to do everything we can to ensure your safety. Remember, the best thing you can do is to speak up, Tisa. Speak up, Tisa. Speak up, Tisa. Speak up, Tisa. Speak up, Tisa.